Does Tesla insurance cover ride sharing? What is autonomous vehicle protection package? And what are some of the other items that Tesla insurance include? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching my videos, I document my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you find this video helpful and informative, please consider subscribing. This is a follow-up video to my Tesla insurance video up here on why I switched and what my coverage and premium look like. I printed out the entire policy declarations. There are 37 pages and I read through them and I found some really interesting things that this insurance actually covers and I wanted to share them with you. First up, a lot of people have been asking if the Tesla insurance allows you to engage in ride sharing service like Uber and Lyft. Can you use your Tesla vehicle for money making purposes? And it is actually very well defined here in the policy on um, page 6, 9, 13, and 16. I'm not going to repeat them all, but I'm showing you on um, page 6 here under the liability coverage exclusion. And section 4, it says that for that insured liability arising out of the ownership or operation of a vehicle while it is being used, a to carry persons or property for fee or compensation or b for retail or wholesale delivery including but not limited to delivering pizza magazine newspaper route and mail delivery or c for ride sharing activity so there you have it if you want to use your tesla vehicle for ride sharing purposes or for pizza delivery for example you would need to actually get i guess the commercial insurance to cover for that next let's take a look at rental reimbursement and it's on page 20 and 21 of the policy declarations and specifically on page 21 it says in the event the covered auto is determined to be a total loss after repairs have begun coverage continues for a reasonable amount of time after a total loss settlement is agreed to not to exceed 30 days after the offer of the total loss settlement and additional definitions for the in-network rental provider means they are designated vendors or network of vendors that have agreed with us to provide rental vehicles to their customers. In this case, it's enterprise. And the limit of liability for rental reimbursement is not to exceed $450. But what I found interesting here is that it doesn't give you a dollar amount for a day. I actually called Tesla insurance twice inquiring about the daily maximum for the rental reimbursement. The first time I called, they said it was $75 per day. And the second time I called and I got a different agent, he said that they actually don't have a set amount. So again, I am basing this off of what the policy declaration says and the two phone calls that I placed to Tesla insurance. If you like to get more clarity on this, I would recommend that you contact Tesla insurance directly. The third item under the policy that I found interesting is racing exclusion. I know a lot of people love to take their Teslas onto race tracks and uh, really push the car to the limit and see how far and how fast this can go. And uh, on page 25, you want to be aware that engaging in racing activities, it will be excluded if you get into an accident on the racetrack. So make sure you have some type of other insurance policy covering for racing. Now, jumping over to the autonomous vehicle protection package, and this is on page 27, which I found really interesting. So in the previous video, they added $20 premium per six months for this autonomous vehicle protection package because I bought full self-driving option 
upgrade. Basically, what this says is they will pay damages for bodily injury or property damage for which any insured becomes legally responsible because of an auto accident, including auto accidents involving your autonomous vehicle. Damages include prejudgment interest awarded against the insured. They will settle or defend as they consider appropriate any claim or suit asking for these damages. In addition to their limit of liability, they will pay all defense costs they incur. Their duty to settle or defend ends when their limit of liability for this coverage has been exhausted. They have no duty to defend any suit or settle any claim for bodily injury or property damage not covered under this policy. And the definition for autonomous vehicle means any vehicle equipped with a level two or higher driving automation system as defined by SAE International Standard. So Elon actually mentioned on Autonomy Day earlier this year that if the autonomous vehicle gets into an accident that Tesla is going to be at fault. He very confidently and without hesitation said this. And I believe this paragraph and definition sums up <laughs> what he was talking about. So if you do have autonomous driving package and if your Tesla gets into an accident under that condition, Tesla insurance is going to cover for that. This is really disruptive. And this may be the first autonomous vehicle insurance of its kind for consumers. If you know of any other ones covering autonomous driving for regular drivers, please comment below and let me know. But to my knowledge, I don't know any other insurance companies that is offering this type of coverage. So I think this is huge to consider when you are shopping for insurance for your Tesla. Also under this autonomous vehicle protection package, they include cyber identity fraud expense. And I thought that's interesting that they included this because under the definition, it covers connected vehicle. It means a vehicle capable of accessing to the internet, of communicating with smart devices as well as other cars and load infrastructures, and of collecting real-time data from multiple sources. Well, this car is connected because it downloads software updates and it's on the neural net, helping the Tesla neural net to do better object and road condition recognition. And we have web browser access, right? You can watch Netflix and YouTube online. You can browse the internet. So essentially this car is hackable. And uh, there was recently a hacker day where Tesla donated a Model 3 to anyone who can hack into the vehicle and find vulnerabilities of this car. And a team actually won the Model 3 because they found holes in their security. So I think it's really great that they actually cover cyber identity fraud expense in case that your Tesla gets hacked. What other insurance company does that? I don't know. Again, please comment down below if you know of any other ones out there. And then continuing on with the autonomous vehicle protection package, it also covers your wall charger. When I read this, I was kind of blown away that they would cover for your wall charger. It says they will pay up to $3,000 for loss or damage to the electrical power charger that is supplied by the original equipment manufacturer and use to charge your covered auto. Of course, there are some limitations to it and um, there is a $50 deductible. So if something goes wrong with your home charger, Tesla insurance potentially could cover that and you just need to pay a $50 deductible. How great is that? 
And finally, under the Autonomous Vehicle Protection Package, Tesla insurance also covers electronic key replacement. If the electronic key or electronic remote control pads to your covered auto are lost or stolen, they will pay up to $500 per loss subject to an aggregate of two losses per policy period for replacement of electronic keys, remote control pads, and locks or coats. And there is a $50 deductible. So this will cover for your key fobs or your key card if you ever lose them or they become damaged. Another great benefit. And lastly, under this policy, let's take a look at some of the discounts that you potentially could get from Tesla Insurance. And this is on the last two pages of the policy, pages 36 and 37. So you can get good driver discount, elite driver discount, which is the one that I have. You can get good student classification, mature driver improvement course discount. I may be getting that in 10 years. Multi-car classification. So if you do have two or more vehicles, they do give you a discount. Initially, when you sign up, you may not be able to add those other vehicles, but call them after you sign up and add your other vehicles in to get multi-car discounts. Anti-theft device discount, so that was included with Sentry Mode. Airbag discount standard, persistency discount, multi-policy discount. So I guess they do have homeowner's policy. I did not know about this. And again, you can call Tesla Insurance and ask them about this and see if they can add this on, get a quote and get even more discount. And finally, group discount. If you are a member of a qualified group, I got this also, I believe, through my alumni association. So these are the potential benefits and additional coverages that Tesla insurance provides specifically to your Tesla vehicle. And I think these are of great value to consider when you are shopping for auto insurance for your Tesla, because if you go with non-Tesla insurance companies, they may not include your wall chargers, your electronic keys, and your autonomous driving if you have FSD package upgrade. So seriously think about that. I'm not advocating for you to switch. Obviously, if you love your current insurance carrier and provider, by all means, keep them. But I do want you to be informed, and this is why I'm making these videos, so that you understand what your current policy covers specifically to your Tesla and what does the Tesla insurance cover and what they will provide for your Tesla specifically so that you know exactly what you get. Once again, if you found this video helpful and informative, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and make comments down below. I will do my best to answer your questions. Until next time, have a blessed week.